Hi, Jason. We got you on speaker. Committee meeting of September 23rd, 2024. If everyone would rise and please join me in the salute to the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. If everyone would please remain standing for just a moment. Um, on September 12th, uh, the father of uh, committee person Harry Platt um, passed away, Bernie Platt. Uh, who was an icon in the South Jersey community, uh, passed away. Bernie served as mayor of Trevor Hill, actually uh, twice, uh, and he served as a Camden County commissioner. Um, Bernie was beloved uh, in, the, uh, in not just Trevor Hill, but in the entire South Jersey community. So our thoughts are with the Platt family, so please join me in a moment of silence in memory of Bernie Platt. Thank you. Then we have a roll call. Mrs. Seagull? Here. Mr. Rabbits? Yes. Mayor Vigoda? Here. This meeting is being held in accordance with the requirements of the Open Public Meetings Act. Two notices of this meeting have been published by the clerk and both the Courier Post and Inquirer newspapers, as well as electronic notice as required by law. Also, a copy of the annual meeting notice has been posted on the bulletin board outside the Township Clerk's Office. Thank you. Our first matter this evening, the first reading of ordinance number 461-24, uh, an ordinance of the township of Voorhees County of Camden, State of New Jersey, authorizing an easement agreement between the township of Voorhees for the property located at block one, lot 2.01. Do I have a motion on the first reading of that ordinance? Motion. I will second it. There's a motion and a second. Any discussion? Hearing none of those in favor, please signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? So carried. Next is public portion uh, for resolutions only. If there's anyone from the public that has any comments on any of our resolutions this evening, please come forward. <clears throat> Seeing no one, motion to close the public portion. Second. Uh, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? The public portion for resolutions is closed. We will first, uh, I will uh, entertain a motion to table um, the resolution, the adoption of the public improvement district budget, resolution number 233-24 of uh, the, the BID budget public hearing and resolution number 234-24. Uh, is there a motion to table uh, those matters? Motion to table. Motion or second. Okay, I have a motion and a second and a discussion. Hearing none of those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Mayor, would those you like, are tabled. Would you like us to provide a quick explanation? Because I believe there are some members of the sure. public that sure. um, are mall tenants okay. um, that would be interested in that. Sure. Um, so, Steve, do you want to sure. give the break? Um, so, I'm, I'm assuming everybody here is a mall tenant or has a stake in the mall. Uh, so, I want to give an update. Uh, today, uh, we had a meeting uh, as a township to figure out what our next steps are moving forward how to get this mall open and more importantly how to uh, make sure that the owners of the mall know that um, our concerns are uh, you know should be heard by everybody um, your concerns more more importantly um, we uh, are tabling this BID tonight because we received uh, this afternoon a plan to um, uh, a sealed document with a full plan to um, get permits to reopen the mall it's early stages, of course. Our construction official, who is a pretty tough uh, construction official, um, did a quick glance and things do appear to be in order. Um, so we decided to table this as a result of that. That being said, we also reached out to Namdar and explained that there's a timeline to, um, to reopen the mall that the township is expecting um, and that we would be meeting with tenants individually uh, as a township to hear your concerns and to make sure that those concerns are taken right to the town, to right to um, Namdar directly from us. Um, so that's, we're, we're moving in a positive direction. We're not happy, I'm not happy that it's five months 
um, late, but this is the next step in reopening the mall as much as the township can do. Um, Chris, is there anything? Yeah, and, and I would just note that as a, in a public meeting, there are certain things that we can and can't disclose and get into um, due to the nature of potential next steps. Um, but we are scheduling meetings, as um, Stephen indicated, with tenants. Um, we're hoping for next week um, where we can meet with everyone and kind of give a little bit more detailed explanation. So I believe we'll be reaching out um, individually to everyone to, to hopefully sit and talk with you because we certainly hear your concerns. Um, we're doing everything we can from a legal perspective um, to have the mall reopened, um, knowing that it is a private business. So while we're connected to the mall, it is still governed by the landlord. But we are doing everything in our power that we can do. Um, we're actually getting quite creative in what we're doing, um, doing things that aren't exactly um, the normal route, but we're trying to do everything we can possibly think of, putting our heads together. We met for probably three hours this morning on this very topic between myself, um, Mr. Dean Natal, um, Stephen, and uh, Committee Woman February. Um, so we're, we're, we're thinking of everything, we're trying everything, um, and, and we hear your concerns. And as, as you said, we're, we're not happy. It's been five months. We've expressed that to them multiple times. So um, we'll be reaching out to schedule meetings because we certainly hear your concerns and, and we want to, you know, any ideas you have that we can present to them to, to get the mall back open. We, that's, that's everyone's goal, have the mall reopen as, as quickly as possible. Um, and just to give you guys an idea of what, when we're talking about reopening and what that looks like, um, the plan that we need from our construct, according to our construction official, who is, uh, like I said, really by the book, it's about health and safety. First and foremost, it's shoring the uh, a temporary wall to make sure that if anybody's going into work on fire suppression systems or anything of that, of that nature, that nobody gets hurt, first and foremost. Uh, that's a liability for the township. Obviously, we also don't want anybody to get hurt working on this mall. The second part is then the fire suppression system. Both, according to the, the contractors that NAMDAR has reached out to, said both, of, both phases of the, the, that work should only take two to three days each. So if project if this if this plan is uh, uh, submitted with everything that the township needs in order to get started the project shouldn't last longer than a week and we can have to get everything done and the township um, the mayor has instructed me the committee's instructed me to make this a priority out for obvious reasons um, that this is on everybody's uh, to-do list in the construction office the minute they get any kind of document any kind of documentation that they have to see that and that first. Not to say obviously we neglect anybody and you know other work here in town, that's not true, but obviously it's a priority for a lot of reasons. Priority for all of you here, but a priority also for this township because it's far too long uh, that this has been closed. So that's the idea of what we're looking at. It's a two phase uh, construction project, but our construction office is ready to go. Our fire department has been meeting with NAMDAR since the beginning, explaining exactly what they need to see as well. Um, we, I talk personally with their contractors, the contractors they have an agreement with, about what the projects look like and how long it's going to take. Um, so I, we're moving in a positive step. The, today was a really positive step, uh, according to our construction official and construction office, which is a good thing. Um, but we'll keep everybody um, up to date on other uh, other uh, updates that we have, um, especially during our one-on-one -on -one meetings. Um, I think Mario Di Natal, economic development person you know here in town, um, who will be sending out an email to everybody figuring out what works best for you to come in, speak to me, speak to uh, Chris Long, our solicitor, and, and get a, um, a unified message across to NAMDAR about not just the, you know, frankly, the timeline that's taken too long to reopen, but uh, the conditions that are some of your offices and your businesses are in that they need to help address as well. Normally we would, we would uh, take public comment at the end of the meeting, but for the sake of, of people that are here, that I understand are here for this particular topic, we're going to go a little out of order. If there's anybody uh, here this evening that has any comment or questions about this very topic, you're welcome to come up and, um, and share those, those concerns or ask any questions you might have. <clears throat> You can just step up, just come just up on the up microphone. Here. Yeah, no all problem. We, all we need is your name and address, and you're welcome to share your concern. Good evening. Everyone. My name is Ifi Ugoji, and I run the kitchen, Ifi's Kitchen. Did your um, grand opening, I remember. Yes, yes, exactly. Thank you. Um, so, two things. Of course, the one thing is just trying to figure out, is it another month, another two months? Just an idea to know. 
um, when we can expect the mall to reopen. That's my first question. The second one is we were told that businesses with an outside entrance could reopen and I had just finished setting up the former Qdoba section to reopen but I was told I couldn't either. So I'm wondering that side is outside, you know, we wouldn't be in the mall, we would just operate from the outside door. Can we reopen? I've lost all my employees. Mm. It's it's frustrating and the kind of food we cook is not what I can hire anybody to cook. So right. I have people who were good at what we do. Mm -hmm. Well, just to speak for the first question, the timeline. Um, the work shouldn't take long to do. So as long as the paperwork uh, and, and the details of that I've left when we bring in everybody for construction with our construction department, because they'll get in the weeds of exactly what they're looking for. But it shouldn't take long. It should, if they, if what they submitted today, which was sealed, which was provided uh, to the township, which I, according to our first glance, looked really promising, this ball should be rolling. Now our timeline is November 1st. It's the first week of November. Um, we want to, frankly, apply pressure uh, in, in the right manner to turn to the NAMDAR and say, we don't have six more months, we don't have three more months. We have to get this thing started. Um, to answer your second question about the, uh, whether or not you're able to open up, I'd have to um, yeah. uh, have a conversation with our construction office, what exactly is, is allowed, what's needed, what they need from that, but I can get you in touch with them so we can figure out a solution to, to your We question. can set up a meeting for you with our, with our administrator uh, and even the fire chief uh, who, who could probably give you some more specific answers to that question. Um, and we really want to move this along. I know, I know there's concern from everybody. Thank and you. before you leave and everybody else, I have my cards here too. So at the end of this meeting, I'm going to come out and give them out like candy um, so you guys can have my contact information. Mm -hmm. That's my work cell phone. I have it right here at all times. So, um, so you can have an open dialogue too, even if there's quick questions, quick Hey, give me you know some kind of sense of this, this, and this, um, and we'll be able to we'll be able to help with that too. Thank you, I really appreciate it. Thank you, that. thank you. Come on up. How are you? Oh, hi. I'm Elena Chow from Voorhees, and I coordinate the spot, which our township has so graciously paid our mm -hmm. rent for us. Uh, our my coordinator has gone in to take out some of our game equipment, and has cleaned it up, but he's, you know, I went through, there's a lot of, like, soot. Is this something we are responsible for doing, or do you have a company that's coming in to clean out the areas? For this specific, your specific spot, the spot, um, that's something I would have to talk to the, to the township about, right. and what we would do. For the private businesses, I'm not sure. I don't think that would be the case, um, but uh, because it's a township own area, I mean, I, we would have to have a conversation okay. about it. I'll just pass that information along. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. thank you. Thank you, Wayne. <coughs> Good evening. Good evening, sir. I'm Chapman, and I am in the process of opening the Tri State Archery Academy down in Unit 2025. Um, we were in the process of getting ready to open with a couple of things we still needed from the township, a couple of inspections. We still have some work to do in there. When can we be allowed to go back in? Mm. I don't have any smoke damage. There's no soot damage because I have glass doors, so I don't have that problem. But I still have a floor to finish, painting to finish, and some things to build. Mm. When can we get permission to get back in there to let us do our work? When the fire suppression system is complete. Well, that's my next question. Are you in the mall? Mario. Okay. Are you in the mall physically, in the mall, or in that strip over there? No, right? I'm in unit 2025, right here, sure. upstairs. Oh, here. I'm in the mall. Yeah. The other question I have for that is, I have 16 or 18 sprinklers that have to be replaced mm -hmm. because they are all painted shut. So the mall is supposed to pay for it, but I think if you're in the process of trying to get that straightened out, my store should probably be straightened out. That should be part of that, it. Yeah. Yeah. That, and that's been worked out with Damdar. Mm -hmm. they're, to pay the, they're all set up to pay the bill. We have all the letters for it. But I'd like to get that done mm -hmm. before November 1st, if that's the date we're shooting for, because I'd like to open yeah, sure. with you. <laughs> now, and that's exactly why we should have that, 
that conversation with tenants so we can, as a collective unit, go to Namdar and say, it's not, it doesn't just stop at reopening. There's a lot of things, including the escalators, including the elevators, right. um, outside uh, entrances into some of our businesses that are frankly crumbling. Um, there's, it'll be a laundry list of this isn't just, the stuff that we need just to get things open is great. That's right. the first start, just so everyone can get into their, their respective businesses. Okay, because I have access from the outside. Mm. I don't have to come into the center mall to access my store. And again, if we, when we meet with the construction official, yeah. I'll be able to have, because it's ultimately, we can say what we want, the construction official has a no, I under, no, I understand so that, but we'll I'm just seeing hundred percent. We're at, As soon as we can let someone in, okay. that he signs off as safe, um, based upon the fire suppression, because I know there were issues with that. So even though your store might not have had the damage, there's certain fire suppression issues yes. as your, um, you know, your your sprinklers are yeah, not working. Exactly. So that has to be approved before we can even let you go in and do any work. Because yeah. God forbid something happens, we need to have that up and running. So that's when we meet with him, we can hopefully have a good timeline for everyone, and because everyone's situation is a little bit different. Right. Um, so and again, with what we are limited to say here, um, that th I think that's our best avenue is sit meet. Um, but as Soon as legally and safely we can do it is is our goal. All right, thank you. Just look forward to you opening. Okay. So you're looking at each other, but maybe. Anybody else have a question about um, uh, the mall, uh, the status at this point? No. Okay, we're going to move on with our agenda then. <coughs> um, May we do have? Oh, I'm sorry. Hello. Hi. Hello. How you doing, Liz? Good. Liz Warbitt, 6 Birch Street, Vorties. So, I'm sorry I came in late, so I'm going to ask you to just, are they planning on opening it after November 1st, or that's the goal? That's our goal. That's, that's goal. our timeline that we're giving Namdar. Okay. Um, so, give a quick recap of what yeah. happened. Today. So, basically, um, they submitted, uh, original timeline said we have until tomorrow to submit um, the, the application process to the township. They actually submitted it today. Our construction official, who um, I summarize, and I think he'd say, like that I summarize him as tough, to be honest with you. Um, at first glance, he said this is actually pretty promising, um, which is good news. Uh, we can't, unfortunately, uh, release our foot from that pedal, and we're going to continue to apply pressure in terms of a timeline of what we're expecting. The second fold of that is um, we want to meet with tenants to have a uh, a coalition, a one single voice that says, look, we need this open, that's paramount. But second is, there's also concerns with, you know, uh, each and every business that is having issues with either rodents or uh, fire suppression concerns. And um, so we have a unified voice in that measure too. Um, the two things that they need in order to reopen is to shore up a temporary wall to make sure that it's safe, that it doesn't collapse and anybody's doing work. And then the fire suppression team would come in, the ones that they hired, the contractors, to come in to, re to fix everything. According to the contractors, the work all in all is roughly six days, five to six days, two or three days each. It shouldn't take long. The biggest problem is making sure that they have their plans in place and the processes in place so that we know what they're about to do is up to code, up to snuff, and then we can go in there. Um, Mayor and committee have instructed that the construction department uh, treats this as number one priority. So that's why we, I, we brought our construction official in and said, keep your eye out for this plan. He dropped everything to go meet with the NAMDAR representatives and the contractors who came in with their, with their information. So how do you know if a space that you rented has functioning sprinklers? It's an excellent question. That, that would be part of the um, inspection process. Yeah. So before, bef before, you get, before we give them the final sign off to reopen, our construction official or someone from the, uh, the fire department will inspect the property and that way, you'll have yep. comfort that your your build, your area is safe. Okay. And we want to address not just getting people in here. We're going to address all the issues with Amdar too. So okay. that goes into the uh, escalators. <laughs> the like this gentleman's his sprinklers yeah. were painted closed. So now, now right. yeah, it's know, sort of I like a checklist that. of things that. That's that, why I asked that question. Right. So I'm like, well, I wouldn't right. even know if the you, sprinklers. Nor would I. But that before so before it reopens now, before they can issue any opening and let people in, that, that will have to be signed off on. That's part of the process okay. that, that we're going through now. Okay, thank you. Thank you, welcome. Okay, we're gonna move on with the rest of the board. Can you invite your to close this public portion? Do you have a special motion for the um, 
Uh, I'm going to leave it open, and then we'll resume at the very end in case somebody else has a question. Uh, our resolutions this evening are resolution number 235-24, memorializing an executive session. From the meeting of September 9th, 2024, resolution number 236-24, amending records of the tax collector. Number 237-24, authorizing the Township of Voorhees to accept a grant from the State of New Jersey Department of Law and Public Safety, Office of the Attorney General, in the amount of $67,725 <coughs> under the FY 2025 Safe and Secure Communities Program, subaward grant number 25-0434, and authorizing Mayor Michael McNona and Police Chief Lewis Bordy to execute and the Township Clerk to attest to a subaward grant <coughs> any and all uh, documents in connection with this grant. Resolution number 238-24, authorizing a settlement agreement between Voorhees Township and SFA 1020 Laurel Oak Road, LLC, Block 198, Lot 10.02. Resolution number 239-24, authorizing the Chief Financial Officer to conduct a public auction, auction to dispose of inventory no longer needed. Number 240-24, authorizing a federal aid agreement by and between the Township of Voorhees and New Jersey Department of Transportation for the installation of pedestrian improvements along Lucas Lane and Van Buren Road, also known as the Echelon Center Pedestrian Improvement Project, 2022 Safe Routes to School Program, Federal Project, number TA-FLEX-DOOS-646, NJDOT Project number 583-4305, FAP-2021, Voorhees Township-00057, resolution number 241-24, authorizing a federal aid agreement by and between the Township of Voorhees and the, the New Jersey Department of Transportation for the installation of pedestrian bicycle improvements along Somerdale Road, Preston Avenue, Fairview Avenue, and Evesham Road, also known as the Pedestrian and Bike Lane Improvements for access to the Ashland Patco Station Project Federal Project Number CMAQ-0679-300, NJDOT Project Number 583-4304, FAP-2022-40 Township 00038, Resolution Number 242-24, authorizing issuance of one plenary retail consumption license to the highest qualified bidder pursuant to public sale. Number 243-24, approving the insertion of an item of revenue, $38,000 CDBG grant. Resolution number 244-24, adopting a deferred compensation plan and service agreement with Empower Retirement, LLC. Number 245-24, appointing Kenneth Balmer to the position of Class II Special Police Officer in the Voorhees Township Police Department. Resolution number 246-24, appointing Brianna Hummel to the position of part-time emergency medical technician in the Voorhees Township Fire Department. And resolution number 247-24, appointing Brian Battle to the position of part-time emergency medical technician in the Voorhees Township Fire Department. Do I have a motion for approval of those? Motion. Uh, I will second that. Um, I have a motion and a second. Any, any discussion? All in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Aye. Uh, and McNona, I abstain on resolution 238-24. There is no need for an executive session this evening. Next is approval of our minutes from September 9th, 2024, our registrar's report for August 2024, and our bills for September 23rd, 2024. Do I have a motion for approval of those? Motion. Motion. I have a motion and a second. Uh, any discussion? Hearing none of those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. So carried. Next is comments from our committee. Uh, I'd just like to remind everybody that this coming Friday is our uh, GBA baseball annual golf outing uh, at Ramblewood Country Club beginning at 11 a.m. Anybody interested in participating can contact John Connors at jconnors5632 at gmail.com. This coming Friday is also our Voorhees Business Association annual bowling fundraiser from, uh, starting at 6 p.m. at 30 Strikes in Stratford. It's a fun night. Uh, if you're interested in attending, uh, visit VoorheesBusinessAssociation.org. Our Voorhees Animal Orphanage will hold its annual Wolfstock fundraiser this coming Saturday, the 28th, here at the Town Center from 11 to 4. 
For more information, you can visit theanimalorphanage.org. Our Department of Public Works is hosting a free shredding event on Saturday, October 5th from 9 to noon here at the Town Center. And our annual Voorhees Halloween and Fall Festival, Fall Festival will be here at the Town Center on October 26th from 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. It's always a fun day. Uh, any other comments from our committee this evening? <clears throat> Our final portion is our public portion. If anybody else from the public has any comments, please come forward. <clears throat> Seeing no one, motion to close public portion. I will second that. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Public portion is closed, and we are adjourned. Good evening. <laughs>